So let's see what Zowie's done to this new U2 and see how good it is in science. He's made some improvements by taking it apart and examining each bit in this construction. So if you want to know how well this is built, stick around for this video. So you're not sure I am on Bearded Bob. I've been gaming for 35 years at least. I've got about 270 mice and I'm well into computer tech. So I play things like Valorant as well. So if you're into that kind of stuff, then stick around. This is the channel for you. Right, let's take it apart then. Let's see. Let's see what changes Zawi has made internally. So the weight was, were you listening before? 60, 62 just, but it's not bad from Zawi that. It's probably the lightest one we've seen. Pretty decent, good good range there, people are after. Let's take these skates off. Let's, get, let's let the show begin. Remember what I was saying about the skates? Even with this, and this is pretty good at taking skates off, you can see the skates getting damaged. They might lay flat. They feel exactly the same as material they've been using for the last 35 years, to be fair. It's exactly the same. They're gonna be awkward to put back. It's got to curl a little bit. So you have to change your skates if you do anything like this. Which I probably would donate because they're not nice skates. I generally don't know why Zowie haven't put better skates on for mice at the minute. The amount of time and money they've got. Awkward skate to get off. Could take skates off definitely to do the base or anything. Point five, quite thin. Slightly thicker. That already started to try and make it a little bit lighter. Is that even watching people? Maybe. We barely register, so look. <laughs> nope. <laughs> Somehow. Got two little dots where they've took a bit of weight out, so they've been trying to get as much out as they can, Zowie. Like the idea of the tensioning screw. Don't like the idea you've got to take off basically front skate and yeah. A weird like cut through there. Interesting. Take these three screws out. Ta -da! What a weird scroll thing. Okay. So, what it looks like inside. So he's definitely watching, they've created like a, looks almost like an inner skeleton. Trimmed all the weight out of it, which is good. So good to see they're taking some uh, some notes from some of the mods we've done. I was hoping they'd use full size switches, but they haven't, they've gone the same trend as everyone else on the sides with little micro switches, like I want to, which those little, little bits. This is interesting. It's a ribbon cable, look at that, it's a bit random. Okay. In case you want in there for your profile hidden in the top power or something, battery power. I mean, it's not weighing much, is it, to be fair? Right, let's take out some new screws. It's got a load of screws in here. Can you see them all? So let's take them out so you can get this split, maybe. What is a lot worrying? Notice that is the side buttons do feel pretty good, but you see the copy and razor. I do get a bit of razor copy vibes with some of the whole stuff, but they've riveted the side buttons on. This is a Zowie, mate copying it with this, the riveted side buttons. You, Ooh dear. And then copying in with the uh, riveted buttons is not the way to go. So we still got it with the shapes for sure though. All right, let's see how many screws we have to take out to take this thing apart. Here's how Zari has done their tensioning. If you're interested, see the screw here and there's one here. Have a bit of a closer look, but can I get an idea of what I'm trying to do? Oh, there's a gap under it. Okay, looks like the back part comes off. 
Now we have to take these front screws out first. Let's do that. Here's the uh, outer part, I guess the top part is how we pretty standard, they've always done that with their top layers, they've changed the internal design of the actual skeleton, which we've done before and we've cut them out. Now they've started to learn and finally cut out a lot of this. 12 grams. This is how the pre-travel tensioner works. You've got your screw, and these are in the bottom of the skate, which are in this part of the base here. And what you see on the base is they have these little, see that little slot? So you just pull the base up against the front. Sorry. But it means you have to make sure the screw is either pushed over, it like slides over it, and then you get it inside, or, which is why when you take it apart, you gotta pull it up and then out that way. But yeah, so it just pulls the base closer, so okay. So I thought it confused me a little bit. I thought it was pulling like the top part to the bottom part, this part, but it's not. You pull this part, the shell, towards the base, trap it against the switch, but what you don't get is you can still have a bit of movement with this part, because this part's detached from it still. Not a bad idea. So he's definitely making some good improvements here. I'd say this is the, one of the best Zowie mice I've seen made. Well, he's the best, best Zowie mouse I've seen made, if I'm honest, which is good. Now yeah, moving forward. It's got like a little, bar together holding on see that you can kind of flex that way maybe that's what's maybe it just pings up with them here we go as predicted we said how new uh white dot micro switches everyone's using these at the minute not really a fan of further kale ones so there we go as you said there's two screws there still don't know why i don't take this piece out but we're gonna have to Okay. Different, maybe just a different way to hold the side buttons. That's what the main shell looks like now. Can't take the side buttons out because, like we said, they're riveted. Get a better look at it now. They might be problematic later. So this is slightly different. You've got the little block on the scroll where we see it. That pushes that Hawaii black shell blue dot. This is totally unique to this mouse. I haven't seen these before. And you've got the other kind of bridge. Kind of pings off. This little um, spindle. And then inside, we've got a ball bearing, which is why it feels so... See it there moving around? It feels so clicky. Have an encoder as such. I'm trying to see if we could ping off the ball bearing. There were some mods on the earlier ones, which I did, you can ping the ball bearing out and then it makes it a smooth scroll wheel, so it's not so so rattly. I don't know why they're obsessed with ball bearings. Because yes, for gaming, they're okay, but when you scroll around a lot or people are around in your room and stuff, they are, they are rowdy. Not many people are using scroll wheels to flip weapons through, you know what I mean? I do, because I'm a bit old school, but not many people do. heavy for a scroll wheel. So combined that's nearly three grams, it's pretty heavy. Looks like they're glued in the bottom here, you see that? Glued the battery in, which is interesting. I don't know what that rubber stuff is on it, like a silicon. It's also got a sticky pad on the bottom as well. Six grams, yeah. Faster stripe, right? Finally, get to look at the charging. Let's come out the PCB in a minute. We've got the old power button, I think it is. I 
complicated actually the way they built this. But the go faster Golf GTI badge. Oh, they're definitely taking inspiration from Razor with the plastic riveted buttons. Chance you can push the power out. Feels like that's glued in. Here's what the base looks like. The base is pretty well trimmed. You can trim all this out, but there's not so much in it. It's not got the same thickness of uh, we're custom to on Zari bases. I'll tell you that now. This is nowhere near like the older ones. And then we've got the PCB. What are you using here? Been the old man's eye out. So we're using the, uh, yeah, this so is at least using a decent MCU, the N52813 P3395DM, is it? I could have read that as a mark on it. I can't quite actually see it. But on this one, this is the PCB, they've still got the scroll wheel pieces attached. So we didn't, I forgot to note something there, they're missing them off there. It's built into the um, PCB, which actually made that easier to make a base for, to make a better base. The Zari U2 taken apart. Surprisingly, pretty well built. But Zari always build good mice. Side buttons are better. They've made a massive improvement on the side buttons. I hate the front scale, like we said. Scroll wheel, it's better, but it's a little bit noisy. I like the way they cut the shape out. Definitely some uh, nice inspiration from some streams. Not saying any. You can chop them up. Bit of razor inspiration as well with the uh, riveted side buttons, which is a bit annoying, and some other bits like the DP ones, but. They're probably not the worst ones to do. Micro switches, everyone's doing that for side switches, which is a bit annoying, because they're not quite as nice, but I don't know, the Hawaiian switches feel a bit mushy in mine. Surprised, because they're normally pretty good, so I don't know if it's a dodgy switch or it just doesn't like this kind of combination. Would I get one? I like the shape. Well built, I think. Probably one of, well, I think it is Zowie's best mouse out at the minute, by a long way. <laughs> 